Everyone loves a trail, especially a 130 mile trail. The Northeast Texas Trail is just that, and it stretches across the beautiful countryside of Northeast Texas from Farmersville near McKinney through Paris, Reno, Blossom, Clarksville, Decab to New Boston near Texarkana. I utilize the Northeast Texas Trail for exercise and just as a good way to get away. The serenity of being away from the city, out in nature, in an area where there are no vehicles other than other bicycles and hikers is, is very uh, cathartic, I think. My most gratifying experience when I'm using the trail is, is seeing all the families that come out and use the trails. Uh, a lot of times in today's world, we don't have a lot of time for family activities, and it's great to see a place like the Northeast Texas Trail where families can come out and in a healthy environment, spend time together. Uh, bikers, people walking on the trail, runners have used it, and it's been a really neat place to just have a safe form of recreation away from motorized vehicles. Located on an old railroad corridor that has been rail banked, the net has been partially developed and is in active use as a linear park. Bicyclists, hikers, joggers, and families on a stroll enjoy the safe and peaceful space provided by the trail. Many use the trail to support a healthy lifestyle. When completed, the Northeast Texas Trail will be the fifth longest trail in the United States and the longest in Texas. But there is more to an extended trail than just recreation. It can be a tool for economic development, especially in economically distressed rural areas. 130 miles is going to make a huge economic impact. There's uh, 5.8 million people in the Metroplex. Um, from the east side, um, there's, uh, in Texarkana, there's, you know, over 75,000 and all the people in between being able to connect with each other. I just think the economic impact we're going to see is each one of these little towns, um, some of them are very disadvantaged economically. And so the opportunity to have people coming, that amount of people, um, traveling back and forth, enjoying recreation. It's going to be awesome. We had an economic impact study done briefly. They said with this study that this is the biggest economic impact the city of New Boston will have, coming and going. So we're really looking forward to developing our trail. I see the biggest economic impact for the Northeast Texas Trail being the out-of-town visitors. We've already had users come as far as Houston and from adjoining states, and as the trail has improved, I only see that increasing. Other long trails in the United States have seen an economic rejuvenation of small communities by the development of rail bank trails. One example is the Katy Trail in Missouri, which crosses the entire state. Yearly, over $18 million is infused into the rural communities along this trail and hundreds of jobs are supported. In the last week of July, my wife and I went and visited the Katy Trail in Missouri. We spent an average of 400 apiece. During those five days on the Katy, we stayed at two bed and breakfast, ate at numerous restaurants, um, bought provisions, fuel. Yeah, those are some of the benefits that the Katy Trail has seen through the years. and. It would apply to the net trail as the net trail becomes established. Well, my name is Dottie Manns, and uh, I, my husband and I own Dottie's Cafe in Hartsburg, Missouri, and we love it. We'll be here 13 years in February. We have most of our guests come from the Katy Trail. Our decision to buy this place was difficult. It's a good business for us. It's not something we had anticipated doing, a bed and breakfast. But I think the clincher was the fact that it was essentially across the street from the Katy Trail State Park, the Hartsburg uh, location. And so that supplies a pretty much steady stream of guests in the four, five, six months of the season. Uh, I rode the Katy Trail in 2014 with a woman friend. I did the same thing going west to east and back again. And uh, I just had such a great time being in the small towns, talking to the people, uh, enjoying the local businesses, seeing the history along the way. And my partner Mike decided he wanted to do it, so this year we came back. And we're visiting some of my favorite places and trying out some new places along the way. Much remains to do before the Northeast Texas Trail is completed. With 55 passable miles, plans are in the works to develop the remaining 75 miles. 
to reach full development. The nonprofit Northeast Texas Trail Coalition was organized in 2012 as an advocate for the entire trail. Some of its goals include the full development of the net as a linear park, its promotion as a tourist destination, and its use for healthy lifestyles. For years, the NET Coalition has relied on volunteers to develop and implement a strategic plan for the trail's eight rail banked agencies, 19 towns, and seven counties. We as a coalition have made the decision that in the city limits, uh, it's going to be an asphalt hard surface for handicap accessibility. Out in the counties, we are going to use and have been using a crushed granite material. We're uh, patterning off of the Katy Trail in Missouri, 240 mile trail from St. Louis to uh, Kansas City through the heartland of, of Missouri, and it's been in existence for 20 years. And it's maintained and uh, was built by their Missouri Parks and Wildlife Department. So uh, we're gonna use that type of material that they have successfully used out in the counties. The Northeast Texas Trail has done very, very well as an all-volunteer organization. Uh, it's done phenomenally well, better than most volunteer organizations do. However, we're to the point now where we have to take the next step. We cannot progress and become what we need to be. The trail can't see its full potential without full-time paid staff. The first one of those needs to be an executive director who can coordinate all of the volunteer efforts as well as work on grants, and uh, frankly, raise funds. We need your support in our fundraising for this project. A capital campaign drive is underway to raise three years of the cost of an executive director's office. Please be a part of this effort and watch the trail grow and prosper.